Hello and welcome to Architeasy. First of all, I have to say that this is not a sponsored video. This channel is dedicated to architects and I really appreciate the nice architecture and therefore I decided to show you one of the examples I really like. This was designed by the studio which work I really appreciate. Their name is uh, Vadehaugen, it's the architectural studio from Oslo, Norway. And if you would like to see more of their works, just go to their webpage or look at their works at the social networks. You can find a link in the, in the video description. On the other hand, uh, I have to say that I often hear that Revit has a very limiting uh, modeling tools, which is at some point true, but uh, therefore I would like to demystify something and to show you some of the examples. It's the Helgeland Museum done by Arde Haugen Architects. And it has a such unique uh, and from my point of view amazing roof uh, which was really done by very simple modeling elements and tools. So I think that a lot of you are thinking oh this is impossible to model in Revit like this roof was done in Rhino and it could be only done in Rhino for example and Tesla. Therefore I'm going to show you how you can model this in Revit and that you have to understand that the architecture is not about the softwares, softwares are just the tools, it's about uh, of your knowledge and understanding geometry as well and I think that those guys from Wadehaugen Architects, they are really playing very well with the, with the geometry tool, they have a very good knowledge about this. Therefore, let's just go to Revit for this tutorial, I'm going to use Revit 2024 and also we'll be using conceptual mass metric templates, so let's just move there, if you have any other Revit on your computer installed take it you can use the same template the principle is the same i'm just going to move there and hope that you are going to enjoy this video before you start with revit always in examples like this try to break down the geometry and as you could see this one was made from a cube and let's say that this is the cube as you could see here and then from this cube, we have some spherical forms taken out. So I'm just firstly going to make a cube, but before I do that, let's just be sure that let's say the shorter side has a value A, and if we look up, we see that we have some kind of the radius over here, and that radius has a value A, while the longer side has a diameter uh, value, which is double A, and I'm going to make a cube in Revit. So I will make that cube with using model and then rectangle and we'll make it to be 24 baht by let's say 12 meters. When rectangle was done, I will just go to create form and will just make a solid form with a height of 9 meters, 9 because it's also dividable by 3. And then, if we look at the picture, actually if we look at the pictures, we see that we have this leading line up there. That's something I firstly would like to create in Revit, it's this line over here. So in order to make it, I'm going to use a reference, we'll use arch and we'll take this as a reference plane. So we'll go from here to here and I'm going to make it. And in order to proceed with the determining the forms, uh, first thing we have to see to determine is let's say this cut of this uh, right side of the roof and then as you could see we have the path line over here and it goes all the way to the end maybe Revit because we are coming to the zero here we'll not be able to handle everything so we have to break it down to the two pieces so let's say that this is the first piece and then we have to determine the profile I think that a lot of you will be thinking that this is the profile this part over here but I have to say that it's not and I will explain you why because as you could see this has the value of, of what we call the radius A but if I go I will just change the color so if I go and take this one and I would like to make the A for example 
our A will be somewhere to somewhere up to there. So which means that you know we need to determine the value from this point. And I'm going to show you that in Revit how you can make it. So in order to to be able to model this, I'm just going to the level one. We'll make a reference plane uh, with a 45 degrees angle. We'll name it O1. And then in 3D, I'm going to use a model and we'll take the line. We'll just take this O1 reference plane. We'll make the line from here to here. And the next thing will be to determine the height. And it's quite simple actually, because if we look at this, you will see that I will just take the red color. Uh, you will see that if this is our profile here, we need to go, let's say 45 degrees and then to give the arch. So in that case, I'm just going to isolate these lines. We'll take one more line and we'll go with a 45 degrees down. We'll just trim this and we'll take arch tool so from end to end and then tangent and now we'll just with the tab tool select this line and we'll delete it and isolate everything and then select this reference line and this one and just go to create solid to create sorry void i will try to cut this out and as you could see it's not possible so what i'm going to do actually i'm just going to take this line and we'll go to midpoint and we'll just make a void from here so you see it's done and let me just make this on the other side as well so i'm going to use the same principle And now just be aware that you are selecting just this side and then this one and I will just create a void form. So you see, this side is done. It's here and I think it was simpler than you were expecting. Uh, what we have to do next is to determine this form here and I think that this one could be maybe even easier. So it's quite obvious that in this case we have, as I said, like we 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 have the profile which goes from here to here and then this is our this is our profile and that profile uh, rotates around this axis actually and creates this this form so to make this in revit I'm going to use and firstly to make the reference plane at the middle. So it's going to be here. We'll name it as O3. And then I'm going to make something like this. I will firstly take line and we'll take it O3. So we'll go from the middle. And then you see my snapping options. I just would like they to go up to here. Uh, it's because now if I just measure this side, I will just, you will see that this height here is four, uh, four meters, 29 centimeters. And this one has the same value. So my snapping tools allowed me, actually the Revit snapping tools allowed me to have the magnet up to this point. So, you know, I can then easily determine this. And then I'm just going to take this middle point and we'll go here so let's just go and take the wireframe mode i just make it trim it here delete this one and i'm going to use arch so 
this is how it looked like what I made was actually the negative so I'm just going to make it in a positive value as, as I made it on a sketch and it's going to be just like this so here it comes uh, what I have to do next, as I said, is just to know the axis, the rotation axis. So I'm going to use a reference line. We'll make line and we'll just draw that line here. And I'm going to select this profile and then this axis line and we'll make a void form. Let's go to hidden. And here it comes. If you would like to have uh, no reference lines visible, go to the visibility graphics turn off annotation categories and this is going to look uh, like this also what you can do right now you can just select the bottom and then you can anytime you know lift it up or make it let's say seven and a half meters so this looks better or more appropriate <laughs> to your eyes and yeah i mean that was actually this for for this tutorial and i really hope that you're going to find this one useful uh, if so, please just spread the words, share our work with, uh, with your friends, uh, share it on the social networks and of course don't forget to like and to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.